first thing this morning, we're at the shop. We're gonna load up our scrap pile in the dumpster here. This is all part of uh, <laughs> cleaning up the other lot. We're also losing this shop building, so the guy that owns it's a friend of dad's. And that building over there where they've got all the pallets, that guy ended up uh, buying this building as well because he's running out of room. They do, they rebuild pallets and recycle cardboard and he's just got all kinds of stuff going on. But his business is booming right now, so he's running out of room. So he bought this one for this shop to store some more stuff in and then he's gonna start parking stuff in the parking lot so we're trying to work on cleaning up that other lot and get this place cleaned up so he can get all his stuff in there he's gonna let us stay at least our dump trucks and the other equipment but the stuff we don't use that often we're gonna try to get out of here I'm gonna come up here tomorrow which will be Saturday and try to clean up everything around those sheds I'm going to haul my other trailer down to my parents' house. Uh, probably that whole side except for the semi-trailer. And then try to go through all this junk right here. Because it's about the last of our junk. We're going to load up with another dumpster. And uh, get hauled out of here. It is shop lot cleanup day, so dad's got the majority of that side, all the stuff moved. I got my little trailer behind my pickup moved, and now I'm going to concentrate on this mess. This is our scrap pile, and then uh, we're saving those lawn mowers for some friend of his that works on small motors or something. He wanted them, but I was just going to show for those wondering, I still do have the International. It sat for, uh, I don't know, most of this year. <laughs> And it fired right up and then here's my other little trailer that i used to use and the bed liner for the peterbilt it's been laying here for almost a year now so so see i do have one i just have got to uh find the time to put it in but i'm actually gonna hook these two up get them out of the way this one's gonna go to my parents house and park now my goal is today to get that whole side cleaned up and some of this and then that'll give him some more area to store and park some of his stuff and then uh we'll just kind of consolidate all of our junk left in maybe one corner where we can still kind of work out of here in parks i mean he's a good friend of ours so it's not like he's just kicking us out on the street i mean he, he gets it too so we're gonna be able to stay in here for a few months and uh just kind of get stuff cleaned up for him. We got a bunch of stuff inside we're gonna haul out, like the snow box, the preparator, some of that stuff we don't use as often. We'll go down to my parents' house for now. And some of it, we've actually got the new shop. It comes with four Connex boxes that are bolted down on concrete pads and they're getting those trailers and stuff out of the way there. So we'll probably next weekend, we may move some of our stuff inside there that we're gonna just keep in there. I've got a, I got a spare motor for the, my 250 loader that I got it, I don't know, forever ago. And then, uh, oh, just some odds and ends stuff in there that we, we need to keep, but we don't have to, you know, use all the time. So we're going to move those down in there. So we're going to get some of the stuff moved there, but some of this stuff is not going with it. That's why we got the dumpster here. Some of it's just trash. And then we're going to go through our pipe inventory and we're actually going to take those down to those Connex boxes and put some of that inside. And then, uh, yeah, the rest of it's just, going bye-bye so 
we'll slide all this stuff over so i can get the uh, international hooked up and then uh yeah we'll just start i guess i'll throw the grading bucket on and just start scraping everything out away from the fences and we'll throw that in the dump trucks get it hauled off and then we'll work our way around here
All right, we got my once a year operator back, so she may be taking a selfie in the cab in there. But maybe we're doing something. But she came to uh, help her on the 2150, so she's gonna load up our junk pile in the peat. She hasn't ran it in over a year, and I didn't really even go over the controls again with her, so I guess we could do that. There's millions of us watching you. I know, the pressure, but I feel like I'm too close to the pile to get like a dig. Nope. So start at where I'm at? The back. So back it up? Or what? Start at the back of the pile and... Oh, I thought you said start like... Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you work everything towards you. Okay. Hi, everybody. I don't know what I'm doing. So we're just critiquing you. So. Thanks. No pressure. I told them you were my once a year operator that shows up, so... Yes. Would you like the camera in there with you, or...? Do we need to shut it off and give you like a few minutes? You know, the first few minutes every year is always when the magic happens. It's true, so we can <laughs> set it up in here with you. Thank you. 
we made quite the improvement in this property today so got everything down along this fence and that fence pretty much cleaned out scraped out cleaned up hauled off except for uh dad's got a little 38 sedan you probably saw in there earlier and i think uh the guy that actually owned the building before a friend of his that's his semi trailer so he still has to get that out we got some junk in there but we've pretty much got it uh cleaned up i don't think this lot i've never seen this lot this clean ever since we even moved in 11 years ago i think 2011 or 12 i believe it was right after the tornado so i can't remember if it was in 11 or 12 but so yeah we got some uh trees i need to get underneath there i didn't want to dad's got some fenders to though he's got two 38 sedans that he's had them since i've been alive so one of these days hopefully we can uh restore them we've also got like a 78 massey ferguson tractor that i kind of grew up brush hogging on back there it's gonna take a little more work to get out because there's uh trees growing up through it but it's just a little old uh i think it's a 35 horse it's a good little tractor but uh, that'll be another day trying to get that out and then we got all this cleaned up so i got those bins taken out that the stuff was just kind of junk i left the barricades and we got oil in those barrels from when we did our service so we need to try to we used to have a company come by in a truck and pick it up and i don't know if they're just busy or what but yeah he's got a lot more room now so this ought to be good for him he shows up monday and we'll kind of figure out where we can stage what we have left and then uh he can work on placing stuff in here I'll probably come back tomorrow. I didn't get a chance today to load up uh, some more of the attachments and stuff. Probably the preparator and my old grapple bucket. And some of the other stuff will go on the trailer behind the International. And then I'll take that down to Dad's house and park it on his point. Seven up is supposed to come back. That truck doesn't run, so they're supposed to come back from that. That pipe we got laying there, we'll use it at Starbucks. And then all, that's all the tires we found, so. But yeah, everything else is... Uh, so the outside's about 95 percent i think he's gonna end up keeping those sheds here we got some stuff to clean out of them but we were gonna try to move that blue and we got to lower that one end down it's on a concrete block but he can just i think i'm afraid if we start picking them up the floor is kind of rotten in them so he can either decide if he wants to use them or crush them got the whole fleet parked over here right now so. we got everything kind of ransacked inside the shop we'll try to finish up tomorrow but i may load up a diamond mower so i don't have any mowing jobs coming up right now and then i've just got my three foot bucket the felco wheel and the grading rake over there so kind of everything i'm going to be using but made a very nice dent in this so we'll uh, see what we get into tomorrow and if not we'll just catch you guys on monday